Okay. I did not notice that after the update and after uh, getting myself a new screen uh, monitor, that the configurations, uh, sizing and everything was totally different. And you guys are getting a kind of like a short version of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, basically apologize for that and just tell you what has happened. It sounds like I'm totally off. Um, Aisha's back goal and Jared is back from school. Oh, look at your cute little dress. You're wearing your butterfly outfit. Okay, how about you run to the house? Oh, good. There's a stranger coming. Or actually, who are you? Are Mar Marcel Price. So Marcel is going down the street. Uh, Mom is here cooking up some bread to have in the refrigerator. <laughs> Everything <laughs> has been collected. Everything has either been sold. Okay, we only have one painting. Uh, kids are back from school. How are they feeling? Yeah. Are they fed and taken care of? He might need a little shower. Um, okay, and he, she might need a little, he and her might need a little shower. Okay, mom, uh, go ahead. No, it's like she wants to serve it. No, you're going to put it away. Um, put away. And then I want you to take, um, let's see, dry laundry. And then I want you to take, uh, Jared a shower. Uh, more choices. Give bath to Jared. Uh, Jared, I want you to come back. I know you want to go play with Sissy, but I need you to come back. So mommy can take you a nice little shower and get you ready for dinner. And then after that, you go to the bathroom. You're going to need a shower. And you're playing. You're playful and you're playing. I love this CC. All these little things uh, that are CC mod things. I love these. Okay, mom. Um, yeah, you're going to come over and take him a shower, a oh, bath. Master. That way he can get a nice, comfortable little bath. <laughs> and then we can um, after that I want you to add to the washing machine and then I want you what can, what can she upgrade what do you need okay um he has a lot but um how are you doing how, how is your performance oh um, excellent but oh my goodness uh shamush with the boss is that gonna help anything at all kind of does a little I really need him to get a promotion he has been here for a while now. Uh, okay, mom, hold on a minute because you need to go ahead and wash the laundry. Good. Um, Jared, you, I know you want to talk to mommy, but I need you to go potty. Mom, you need to go ahead and mop over here. And uh, and then you're going to go ahead and see if we can... I, I'm fast forwarding because I need her to really finish. It's almost time for her husband to come home. Um, excellent. Okay, so you shamushed with the boss. Uh <laughs> study the classics maybe that might help you i don't know uh mom i need you to also uh bathe uh aisha she went to school and you know all those germs at school and you know okay mister uh how are you feeling you're doing good you don't need to go to sleep right now so um you know you can go upstairs and play um with anything you want i don't know what you want but how about you play with the ball? Keep you a little busy, Aisha. You are playful, so let's just take you a little shower, a little bath. Perfect. And then you do not need to go to the bathroom, but I'm going to have you go to the bathroom. Get that out of the way. And then you're not, you're kind of hungry. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can take something out of the refrigerator. So the kids can have, uh, oh, I don't know. Do they, would they eat ceviche? Well, let's make something. You know what? Let, let's go ahead and, and make something here to Granny's recipes. Let's make something. Let's see. What can we make? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Some, oh, this one, colored greens. And uh, add some fried chicken and I'm happy. Wait, we have a meatloaf. Hold on, hold on. I know I had a meatloaf. Okay, let's meatloaf. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and have these kiddos uh, grab a serving. Grab a serving. And that way you guys can eat and be ready for anything. Bedtime or go back and play. It is 3 o'clock, so we're not going to put you to bed yet. We are not. And then mom, can you mop this floor? Because oh gosh you know this is ridiculous okay let's just leave it alone um and then how are okay uh collect the beeswax and sell the and then go ahead and bought <sighs> nothing yet gustavo what is going on with you why aren't you um like you know it's hard work this is like 
Let's see. Writer level five. Next promotion is going to be short story writer. Page two journal. Um, gosh, I really wish that, you know, he can get promoted. $35 because she sold something. Uh, okay, so. Oh, gosh, mom. Uh, before your husband comes inside, can you please why polish to perfection? How are the kiddos? How, are you guys all look at this. It's so sweet, guys. Look, look. I wanted to show you guys. Look at this. It's so sweet. The two little kids are just eating. Well, eating their dinner. Let's see. They've got some meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and some peas. That is it's from Shiz. Aww. These two cuties. It's like, what do you got in your plate? I don't see that on my plate. You got it right there. Did you see that? Oh, he's done. And she is done. Oh, these kids. Kids are quick um, to eat. Okay, let's just not put that up there and have mommy pick that up. Mommy's been pretty busy today. Um, all right. <clears throat> As of right now, two toddlers uh, and a baby. No. And then the baby is going to be um, short in life. So let's go ahead and clean that up. Sir, how are you feeling? Go to the bladder and then go ahead and grab uh, some meatloaf. And then I do want you to finish off your book or your obligation. I know that um, our choices, we're going to write a, a general book uh, and we're doing children's book right now. Uh, let's see if that um, actually, you know, uh, helps out or do we have to do two? So you're going to eat, you're going to do that. Mom, uh, and you're going to go painting. Oh, and these two little sweeties over here are just going to have a conversation. Pop is going to come over here and sit down and eat. Um, energy. Yeah, we're going to put you to sleep around 7. So hopefully you guys will stay in bed a little longer. But you guys do have school tomorrow morning. Uh, Mom is going to be painting a small painting. Uh, we do have to start collecting some more paintings so she can start making some more money. As the kids get older, they're going to need more things. As soon as she bonds with them, they get a little irritated. So I'm going to leave them alone for now. Um, okay, there we are. I know it seems like I've been on here for a long time, but because of the other uh, part of the video, we just did so much and it was a mess, a total mess. Um, let's see, two Aisha and two Jared. So we need uh, the kids kids um uh isha and jared new toy isha and jared uh, received a new toy what could it there we go um she wants to tell a funny story to isha and she wants to comfort isha oh that's so sweet okay what do you want to do you want to be friendly with evelyn with your mommy and then you want to go fishing and catch a fish. He still has this whole thing where passionist list job. What's the point anymore? I get to work, may mindlessly do job, get paycheck, sleep, repeat. What is Gustavo even doing? Oh, wow. She has finished a masterpiece. Oh, okay. Go ahead and frame the canvas. Ugh. Uh-uh. I can't take it off. Okay, let's just uh, put it in her inventory. And then, what do you want to do right now? You want to tell a funny story to Aisha. And let's go ahead and be funny and tell a funny story to Aisha. And then, you wanted to go ahead and also comfort her. So, let's go ahead and have you comfort your little one for, I guess, uh, I guess not anymore. Um, flashcards. I doesn't say it. More choices. Uh, comfort. It doesn't seem to be here. Toddler care. Read to sleep. Put to bed. Well, it's not here. So, I guess, I don't know if it's past or not um uh let's just teach her how to do that uh he wants to come and be friendly with mom so we're gonna have him come over here and hug loving <laughs> there we are and then gustavo is gonna be working on that book and i know it's not gonna be so question is do you think we should get him a new job or work out this whole thing where what is Gustavo even doing in two hours? So he's a little sad because to him, his job is not what he wants. Um, 
And let's go over his personality. Uh, he is neat, loves the outdoors, would be happy to have children. He's active, and knowledge, frugal, gregarious, high metabolism. And his fear is to have a dead end job and alluring. So, out of all of this and him not wanting his job, should we change his job and give him a, as a freelance job and just work writing his books that would give him more time to actually do his books? Or should we just leave him there and have him, because um, it, it, it ends in two hours, but still, or 41 minutes but still he has this thing over here where he does not want to uh you know a fear of a dead-end job uh gustavo's question if there's a future with his career gustavo's job performance will suffer and he will return from work sad so we have to either fix this or get him a different job i don't know if getting another job will be the fix for it or not so i'm gonna leave it to you to choose what should we do um uh, let's see i'm gonna get her just to see if she can uh, uh find a job to see what there is there might be for him not necessarily for her but i do want to see what is going on and what can we do uh, i don't want him to to be sad maybe he wants to stay home you know um critic culinary maybe he can be a teacher in um middle school or high school and uh teach li literature social media i a writer i don't but there you guys go. There are the uh, jobs. I'm thinking maybe we can switch them over to uh, education. Um, he won't make as much as he's making. $28. How Girl much is he Steve. making right now? He is making $65 an hour. But he is... Oh, did you finish that book? <laughs> right. Uh okay a motivational mystery let's do a fantasy book see if that works out for him his so far is okay cat lord cat council this is a fantasy book okay um fantasy i know aisha and fairy okay <clears throat> I did tell you at the beginning before I think she had the baby that there was something in the garden for Aisha and this whole thing with her new friend and, and the new toy and all that. She did get something. They actually both got a little surprise. When Aisha turned into a toddler, something popped up in their uh, garden. So I wanted to show you if I could. And this is little Aisha's fairy tale garden. Um, her little fairy here lives in this little house. There's a little bus stop for the fairy to go anywhere they want to go. And then uh, this inside is her house. And you can't go in because um, we're not invited yet. Uh, uh, so we have to wait to be invited. And uh, the only way that we can be invited is by Aisha. Um, if she wants to let us into her little world. But there is a little fairy that lives in there and that wants to go ahead and play with Aisha and Jared. They're the only ones right now that know about them. Mom and dad do not know anything about them. And they are going to go ahead and uh, little by little as you know the days progress maybe not in fall but maybe when she gets to be a child she'll be able to the little fairy a little bit more but right now to her it's just a little play doll set and there's nothing there so we'll see what happens but it is nine o'clock uh the kids do have to go to sleep i know they're i said i was gonna get them on radio but let's get these kiddos to sleep uh yeah uh, okay before we do go to sleep let's go and empty our bladders okay we need to stop with that and then i need you to go to sleep little mister uh you as well go potty and then you're gonna go to sleep as well as you guys have school i should have put them to bed at eight i time just flies here so they're gonna go to bed and mom and dad he's still writing only because of his job which is complete and we are going to get him as well i don't know why their um their needs go down um i'm gonna have him and his wife have some time together you know uh they i don't think they've had any time and the kids are gonna go to sleep they they should be read too mm, dry skin <laughs> 
Honestly, with everything that just happened, I forgot completely to get her to shower and brush her teeth and everything. So in the morning when she gets up, that's what I'm going to have her do. I don't know if she needs to kind of clean this bathroom uh, or the tub or anything like that. I wish she was a, a neat person, uh, but she is not. Okay, sweetheart, you need to go to bed. Go. Uh, we got to really push these kids to go to sleep because they will stay up and play all night and then we'll be tired in the morning. And it's almost 10 o'clock. Wow, I am horrible. They should be asleep at 8 o'clock. I know. Go to bed. Let's go to bed, Jared. I know you want to play and you are just... Um, okay, I hope she does not get pregnant because I want... If she does get pregnant, if we decide, meaning you guys and, and me decide that she should have another baby, I want to wait until after the update and the new expansion pack so we can play with uh, the new babies and the infants. So I'm really hoping that does not happen. Um, where are you at? Okay, I need you to go to bed. I don't know what you're going to be doing right now, but no, you're not going to dance. You need to go to sleep. Sleep. Uh, Mom, I'm sorry to say, if you are pregnant, oh, that's the last one you're going to have. I don't want any more kids with this, uh, like, with this uh, generation. I want to go ahead and um, wait until after the, let's see. Oh, good, 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 good. Not now. Um, the only reason why is because I do want to go ahead if she does get pregnant. I do want to experience the whole new baby thing that they said that they're uh, implementing on the 14th and also the infants that are coming and with everything that comes with the expansion pack. So I do want to experience that. And with that thought, I do want to go ahead and make a guest room. Uh, and I'm going to make the guest room. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. So there we are. I fixed that hole in the the ceiling why are we going up i tell you i am totally off to this don't that is it looks like a curtain that belongs downstairs but it's up here but it looks like a heater so it's a heater dangerous in the kids rooms. but anyway talking about that i'm thinking of doing this as a guest room uh only because that we're gonna have that visitor come over i don't know if she's gonna have any visitors what are you doing cleaning up okay good but you do need to go to the to sleep um uh, i don't know if she uh, she is such a homebody that all of her friendships are basically like gone but we have ora bella uh, we have liam wow liam we got big we have Elo we have all of these girls we need to have a girls night out uh, dr cut oh way uh, so yeah we have a lot of friends here and they might just want to stop by right now because of you know first generation we don't have any grandparents but with one of her kids that does end up having, hopefully that kid, you know, uh, the next generation. When they have a kid, the third generation, I'm hoping that they get visited by the parents, which is Gustavo and Evelyn. Because they won't, I don't know, how does that work? Do they live here until they get old or do they move away and leave the house here? Do the kids move out? I have not decided. Oh, that's right. We have every generation for the scenario. Okay, um, I need you, since you are awake, I need you to get your stuff together. Uh, okay. <laughs> Gustavo, I think you're gonna fall apart now. What is he doing? Okay, uh, what did I tell you to do? Okay, let's get you to go to the bathroom. Um, I, let's get you to take a shower, brush your teeth, um, brush your teeth, and then um, try to see if you can go find something to eat. No, don't, why does everybody go straight for the bread? Um, the bread is not the main thing. You have tons of food in here. I know that. He's going to make me come over here and grab something to eat. Oh, goodness. Take care of yourself. Okay, now she's the one that's not waking up early. And that's fine. Okay, we have a new book. Um, now, let's buy a, create a copy after you take a shower and that way we can sell this one here but we need to have a copy of that uh this i don't know why it's a scary look at this there's a ghost on it we need a change on this uh isha and jared have received a new toy what could it be it's a kid's book and they're they're pretending that it's scary you know um story copy okay perfect now this one is going to be okay put into the library because we like to have books that he's made in our library mom is down here mom what are you going to be doing um looks like you're going to have some ceviche that seems fine to me let's go ahead and oh the litter oh yes please because this one where's your book at excellent quality so submit book copy to yes please okay this one uh i know i know you only get one chance um so 
that is good okay so we've been here for a while or what it seems to be for a while uh these kids it's already yeah. thursday <laughs> I would have loved to get into the weekend, but that's not going to happen, so... Uh, search the pocket. There we go. Okay, if you can. And his teeth is clean. He's feeling good. Um, okay, so these guys need to put cream on. I don't know what is going on with them, but they need some cream. Apply lotion. Ah, uh, no. Apply body spray and apply some deodorant because you got to get to work. A quirk. Refined a palate. As a celebrity, Gustavo has become accustomed to the excellent quality meals eating food that doesn't meet his lofty quality expectations will make Chris uncomfortable okay well get used to it Jared all right uh the kids it's five o'clock and they're still asleep so um I was hoping that they would be like really tired um and they would be to sleep Okay, so you're hungry, so let's go ahead and get these little kiddos to eat. Mom, seriously, search the pockets and then do the laundry. And then let's go ahead and get something. Um, did you finish your meal? Um, and then I want you to finish uh, your meal. I want you guys to eat as well because you guys have school. So I need you to grab a serving. It's already five. Uh, grab a serving and then um, do you guys need to go to the bathroom? Probably. Uh, this guy in his dancing um what happened to my toilet second guy. jared go to the bathroom you're gonna eat go to the bathroom and then you're gonna go to school um and then you as well need to go to the bath let's put that in the clothesline um has everybody had their meal today so we can put the food away um you still have to come and eat you're eating and it looks like you're somewhere come on little one let's go dad were you holding her up what did he have okay so we're gonna get them off to school off to work she's gonna go painting i'm gonna play through the weekend so that when when we get back on the next part we're gonna be at uh yeah i'm gonna work through here we're not gonna do much for this saying goodbye to summer uh, until they get a little older on saturday i might record her prepping food for the week this makes no sense to us because we don't have any uh there we go uh her birthday is gonna be here so we'll be back on saturday for the weekend i will play through thursday and friday the rest of the day nothing you're gonna miss friday we're just gonna have them go to school go to work and do what they have to do uh maybe take a picture in the summer pool or something we'll see but until next time guys thank you so much for watching and coming you know to spend some time uh viewing this video and don't forget that there is a subscribe button down at the below i've noticed you guys have not been subscribing why at least tell me why are you not subscribed but for now bye love you guys and see you in the next one